what it will be. Uh, what is good, guys? We're here with Flaming Team versus Snow for Smoke and Snake Draft. So I think this is Flaming Team's first game, right? I haven't seen him play. Maybe I missed mm -hmm. the game. I don't know. But yeah, he brings. <clears throat> so I think that uh, Avi Majorna and. So he has U turn on Coco or Voltage on Coco and then U turn on Lando and then uh, Voltage on Mag, I assume, to get Mega Mawal in. Like, if it's AV Tang. Really cool. if, it's, if it's Focus Punch Mawal, which I think is like really cool because his trend is super common with Duxury being gone. Like, if I would use Mawal, I would definitely use a Focus Punch set. And if it's Spadef I mean, Tang, then uh, Mawal kind of beats that as well. Yeah. So like if it comes I mean Snow Steam Snow Steam seems pretty like easy to like raid. I think that's AV Tangro, Scarf Kelly, Rocks Heatray, Defog Mew. Cure maybe and Mega Pins here. Yeah, yeah the, that's it's AV. either Z move Curum mm -hmm. or Z move um Heatra most likely. Yeah. I know that defense like Lefty's turn is like super good. Oh, oh that was a fire play by FV, so he's Z move Lando. Probably so, Sky Strike. <clears throat> Maybe I have to take that back with the with the U-turn on Lando, but you still see um see move sometimes. So yeah, he I, brings Granger. He switched out the Lando because Mew uh, most of the time runs enough speed for Lando and they're on Ice Beam. Hmm? So you can go for a spike here, breaking the Tangrowth or the Kelio. If he's the Ash But if he's no he should be Scarf Lardy on this team, but it's not hundred percent clear, but yeah he's most likely Scarf Lardy. Mm, let me see. Yeah, I would say this is Ash. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the Dark Bolts play. You figure out the Tangro set, slash the Keldeo if it comes in and takes some chip, but I feel like Spike would be yeah. really nice to get up. And Quite a, I don't think that's much per death Tangro, or is it? Because that took 32, I don't mm, know. That might be AV, it's just Specs Go Ninja. Okay. It might have a little nice bit of his death. I haven't. I don't want to run a cult now when they're playing kind of fast. Yeah, I was about to say he's either gonna EQ or HBIs, but he won't. Yeah, okay, so you get that play correct. Um, I don't see. Mm -hmm. Is this AV? I really think it's AV. Yeah, I think I think so too, because otherwise, I don't know. Like opposing Greninja is kind of scary for him, especially if it's Brody. Exactly. I still don't understand why Brody Greninja isn't used that much. Like that one, like destroys some cores, so Voltage oh, confirms the AV. Uh, so I assume he's gonna go into okay okay. There's the HPIs here. Okay, really nice play by Snow. Um, knowing that AV Mag, the best it can do is like Ice Beam or Flurry Cannon, and he can eat it up. So most he knows that Flame Victini wants to keep some health on AV Mag. To um, now he can he can bring back Greninja on a Defog, but like he has Tangrowth and Keldeo to. Yeah, yeah, but he can get up a spike with Greninja. Like um, health on Mag can be nice. Later to take a hit from Kyurem. Oh, Coke. Okay, he switched it up a bit. Yeah, he's obviously just gonna U-turn here slash taunt, but U-turn most likely on the obvious tank growth. And then he can get his Lando in, and the cycle repeats. Snow might go back to me on the Lando. Okay, Volts is just oh, oh, that is a fuck ton. Is that Specs? Uh, could be Specs, yeah. Can you run a Kalk? Because yeah, I don't want to click. I don't want to click X. I'm assuming, I'm assuming fast new, so. Yeah, yeah, it, it probably doesn't have any speed dev. They run. Uh, a lot or of maybe speed it's, and it's just Magnet, I don't know, let me see. Coco... Where's Mew? Uh, I think Mew can actually be good with some speed death, but at the moment you need the speed for Lando. But some speed death might be really nice to have for uh, Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele is super common at the moment. Snow only has a heat run, which means his Tapu Lele switch and doesn't really exist if the Tapu Lele is a Spex Focus Blast or All Out Pummeling. So he finally gets up a spike, I think he should have done that way earlier. That's, 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 that's spec's damage. So what yes. he has to do is he has to get up, he has to keep the spike up, um, so he has to try and keep the Mew out. Like he has to try and double into like um, Coco on the Mew, or into Greninja on the Mew. Obviously this turn Snow can go into Mew for free because Gren is locked into spikes most likely. Yeah, not most likely, we know that it's spec damage from the Dark Boots that he did earlier to tank. Mm -hmm. Sure. So yeah, um, I would just attack here if I was snow. In case this is a focus mm -hmm. punch, I would not try to get blown away. Even though that that would be a wild place thing in the rocks here. But uh, snow is most likely gonna defog later anyway, so I don't think he's gonna go for rocks here. Exactly, he just oh, attacks. Nice. Completely agree with that play. So he gets some juicy chip, uh, nice like chips the Greninja down a bit. So uh, he's he's just gonna dark pulse here, I assume. Oh, your yeah, Hydro's, okay. Oh, 
And I was... I understand the player, but I feel like it was pretty obvious that he wasn't staying in with the Tren. Uh, Tren is like his main check for Morwal. Tren is also nice for um, Ooh, Magellan. This window is actually no Ooh, nice play. Yeah, I can see him. And I now... can see him going for like a fusion bolter off power. He, he, he has to go Magir now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. He goes for sub zero slammer. He's gonna get blown away. Uh, so he can just go for like a uh, fusion bolt, uh, ice beam, whatever yes. he wants. At this this range, it yeah, should fusion, die. Fusion, uh, I don't think ice beam. Yeah, ice beam probably yeah, doesn't bolt. kill because it's AV. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> So yeah, he can threaten this with a specs, dazzling gleam. Sometimes Q and in runs the minus with death nature. Mm? Do you have to calc if uh, if it kills if it's non minus if it's um, minus defense instead of minus death on the Q? Specs dazzling gleam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I assume that it probably would have lived. <clears throat> because Let me see. I think he I think he could have. Oh, that was a fire play by Fv. But I think he could have just gone into mobile, because most of the time this Q runs max attack and. Like, I know, no, there was there would not have been electric terrain up. The electric terrain only got set up because he got Coco. So if he went more well, he could have easily taken, he could have easily taken a fusion bolt. Mm -hmm. But I, I assume he still wants health on more well to take it off quick from Tangro, so that makes sense. Yeah, I can understand that. So that works yeah, out really if the nice. Cure, if, if the Kieran Black was minus Pedef, he would have died to Specs, that's in Gleam, yes. Okay. So it makes uh, sense. That it makes sense that Snow um, let the Curum go down because he wants to keep the Tangros healthy for um, the Gran and for the Coco. So I completely understand that he already used up his Z move and got the kill. So Curum wasn't really doing that much. Maybe would have gotten some more damage off if it came back in later, but that was a fine play. Yeah, I mean, and he still uh, he still has killed you for the Landros and. Bloody so, anyways. if you have we here, the, the Tangro is really obvious, so would you double into Landorus and get up your rocks? Or I think I would double into Lando here. So he just goes what for the What does Flaming Victini even have to break Tangro? Oh, he only has Mega Mowal, Um, He has right? to get up more, he has to get up more hazards. That's or what, I, that's, that's what mm -hmm. I thought he would double, because if he gets up rocks, at least that forces uh, Snow to defog. And then the rocks on every side are gone, and then he can... I don't know, it's like kind of hard for Evie to make progress. The same was super annoying to his team. It is. But yeah, the spike is helpful. He should have, like I said earlier, like the spike, I think he should have gotten the, it up. The way, way. chat is calling, is calling for a Dark Pulse flinch. Yeah, he should have gotten up the, t sp uh, the, the spike way, way earlier, I feel. But um, Lopin. So I can, I can feel like Snow is gonna just go for Giga Drain here. Um, because mm. in case Evie stays in, you don't wanna play around with this and if he goes Lando you still get a decent amount of damage. So I would probably go into Marwal here if I was FV because I feel like Snow is kinda of forced to go for Giga Drain. Uh, if he's we already know he wasn't he's Z move Lando, but if he was Z move Ladi, I actually like that set a lot to switch into Tangros because uh, since you have a Z move uh, knock off knock off damage gets reduced. But that's not the case. Hey, staying in and going for the flinch is like a good play per se, but I can see Flaming Victini doing that because kind of killed you and a AV Tango. So I maybe Greninja doesn't even do mu too too uh, much. It's hard for me. I mean, if Fred if Fred the the Mew and the Heatran, yes. Uh, I think he should switch. We never send a Dark Pulse play, play, but they also, he also could have gone up another spike there on the switch. I feel. Yeah, I will go more well. Okay, Lando, that's. He does put it the earthquake. Uh, Snow makes a really good play because going into Keldew, yeah. in case he goes for a Dark Pulse Flinch, that covers that if he scarf yeah. Keldew, then he doesn't risk the flinch on the Tangros. Yeah, <laughs> now, of course, they're saying how in the chat, but I'm pretty sure he just predicted <laughs> the Dark Pulse again potentially. And it also covered the Lando, so that was a really good play. But it, yeah. I don't. Like, it wouldn't have really covered the Mawile. Like, like if, he done, if he went Mawile there, like, uh, if he went Mawile there, if he had Focus Punch. Um, that would have been really, that would have been a nice option to click focus punch if we went more well there. No, he's playing. He's playing his matchup really well. Uh, even though Snow could technically still go Mew on more well, most of the time I assume he would go Tran because player of is just super threatening. Um, but yeah, if Terrain is up, Thunder Punch uh, does a fuck ton to Tran as well. Mm -hmm. But this thing was so annoying for him. This thing was so annoying, so there's no way that Snow is staying in. Oh my God! Yeah, sixty-two to Mew. Yep, that was a completely fine play. It hits the Heatron hard and hits the Mew hard. Mew has to decide um, if it wants to burn this or... If I'm, if I'm flaming Victini, uh, don't you just go 
Isn't this just a, like free green ninja? Because you either softball or wisp, right? I mean, With it's Mew. not really free because the green is at yeah, no, it's really at forty three, and if you wisp is super low, but oh, yeah, he takes rock as well. Um, but like, you're not worthy. The the problem here is if he lets the mora get burned, that's another one that tank was wall then if it's burned. So he kinda needs this non burned. So I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um Like I I understand I understand I understand the the softball play or the roost play because Flamitini uh if this gets burned isn't has huge problems to take down the tank rolls. Hey now he goes great. I don't understand why he's stating okay, I guess you're yeah, really you predicted him correct I guess. And now mm -hmm. it's just um this is tough, man. Like either dark bolt or spike, but he's most likely gonna dark bolt <clears throat> because he already got uh, the tangos chipped a bit. The tangos is around I think seventy five after spike, so uh, dark bolts would obviously two hit KO, right? Is it? No, it doesn't two hit KO, but it almost like it doesn't two hit KO, but like uh, it would be in range for to um, when it switches in and gets flinch, it's dead. <laughs> Good God, that was like a um, nice miss narration, real quick. Mm. So I think Snow is just gonna go to Caldeo here. Probably, yeah. So if I'm FV here, I either double into Morwell, put it in the Morwell, um, the, the tank, not the Morwell, the tank, or I go for a spike. But yeah, if he goes into Caldeo, that obviously wouldn't help. Like if you go Morwell, that's not the best. Uh, I assume Morwell can take a pump from uh, like 89%, but still. You need the health on the Morwell. And yeah, Sky Strike Lando being down uh, sucks a lot as well. That was his main way of taking down the tank rows. I don't like I don't like I don't want to criticize Flamitini, but if he got up a spike earlier, um like at least he wouldn't have rocks on his side now because then he had, had would have had more than one spike and Snow would have been forced to defog. Yeah. Because now, like if he has two spikes, then the Tangros and the Kelly are pressured way more. I know it doesn't do that much more than one spike, but it's still, like, you can still uh, notice yeah, the difference. On the dark pulse here. Yeah. I mean, Snow's play is fine, he just scouts, so in case he goes mm -hmm. for a spike there, he would have gotten his Tangros back more healthy. So he's going for the it flinch is. now, he realizes he cannot really break oh and he gets the God. flinch. So Snow's gonna go Kelly here. I would, I would have gone Kelly. I mean, I understand that Flamitini at one moment had to kind of go for the flinch because he wasn't yeah. really making any progress. Of course, they say Fisherman or Fisher or something in the chat. Why are you putting dots then, as you nice Italian fanboy? <laughs> so, if he gets the burn here, there would be that some ha yo. reverse hacks? Okay. I mean, this is Scarf Caldio, uh, Scarf Lottie, so yeah, yeah. I don't think it would kill us. Like, he's faster. Um, so the trend is pretty obvious here. Trend is pretty obvious. Yeah, this is tough for FV because Scarf Lottie doesn't have any recovery, which means he cannot switch longer into Scarf Keldew at all. So Scarf mm -hmm. Keldew just became a huge win con for Snow. And Pinsa also looking like it can clean up when he gets uh, somewhat chip on the Coco and... Like, obviously, the Coco... Stops the um the pincer at this moment in time, mm -hmm. but that doesn't matter when he has a tangros. If the mobile Mo gets like weakened a, a little bit more, Keldio just wins. Like he has a tangros to sack uh, on the Coco, and Coco is also going to be in Scarf Hydro Pump range soon, I think. Yeah, it's just my head calc. I haven't calced it. And yeah, mobile. Um, I assume it takes like sixty from pincer off quick, something like that. But it's not in range yet. Yeah, double predicting. Yeah, double for Grand Prix in the Tran, but um, oh, it goes Pinsir. Wait, did he predict the trick? Or he was willing to sack it, I think. He has Mowell and Coco. I can see that. Damn. So and now the Greninja is now the Greninja is forced out again. I, I can see him going for um. You think he's gonna off quick predicting the Coco here? <laughs> No, that would be a good play. Uh, yeah. I don't think I don't think he has to make that play. Snow is in a good position. Yeah, 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 exactly. What if, what if he um, stays? I would probably just quick attack, yeah. And Flamitini, if he switches out again, like this Grin is almost dead. At this point, the Greninja cannot even switch into Heatran anymore, anyway. So like, it's looking uh, good for Snow. 
Uh, if, he, if he snipes the Coco or the Mola with an EQ, the game is over. I think Snow lost his first match. Is this a second or a third? Uh, is it second? This he, plays, second. he plays yeah. Zomok okay, as well this weekend. Mm -hmm. There's like 100 games this weekend, but... Um, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I, can't, I can't bring you guys that many games because I have... Um, I'm a little bit sick, so... I can only narrate like 3 or 4 games and then my voice is completely gone. That's what I did yesterday and then I wanted to narrate more games, but nah, it didn't work. <laughs> Like he, he, if he quick attacks, he just gets the chip on Coco, and then eventually Coco's in the range from Scarf's called. So that's uh, what Snow wants. Tell me, did you, did you, did he kill? Nah, he probably just quick attacks. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Like okay. there was no reason that's in safe. making that unnecessary play. Yeah, yeah. And you win anyway if you play it well. Yeah, they were discussing the the, the pincer switch in the chat as well. They were saying he he probably wanted to cover the trick or the double, like you said. I mean, I understand the play, but I feel like, yeah, he was kind of breathing a trigger or dump, but I think he was also fine with the pincer going down. Mm -hmm. He doesn't, he didn't need it to win the game. Mm. <clears throat> but yeah, um, Kyum uh, stays being a monster. Like, life up is a pain, but the Z-move set almost every game gets a guaranteed kill, unless they have a defensive scissor. Then the sub zero slimmer can be uh, munched by scissor, <laughs> like it can take it with ease. Yeah, Sabala said it's mostly because Pins is pretty useless, okay. I mean, how does uh, Flamitini stop Scarf Keldia at this point? Like, yeah, Mowal, that's what I was saying earlier, like... Mowal is Mowal, almost in range, like, I'm, I'm on a Calc real quick. Yeah, Mowal, uh, hype Scarf, Scarf Hydro Pump from Keldia does 83 max to Mowal. Like okay, that depends on the spread. Yeah, some always run a little yeah. bit less, some run a little more HP, but that's about that spread that he's going to be running. Mm -hmm. So he needs like um, a few more rock switches for the mole to be in the range. Mm -hmm. Also, the Keldeo, mm -hmm. the Keldeo, um, if it takes spikes like a bit too often, it's in Sucker Punch range because Sucker Punch does uh, 24, oh, 28. True. So, like, Keldeo can only come in one more time on a spike and then it might be in Sucker Punch range. Or oh, it should be. So I think Flamitini is trying to um, bait the Keldeo in, that's why he goes Greninja, because Water Shuriken could bring it in range from uh, Mawal. Or also he might... Yeah, I'm not sure at this point. He kind of has forced to go for Water Shuriken because he doesn't have a switch in if the Keldeo comes out. But I mean, don't you just go... Um, I guess you know Tangroof is way too low. No, I, I think if, Mo if Keldeo comes out, it's the only place Water Shuriken to bring in range from Sucker. Let's see how else mm -hmm. he like, kills the Keldeo. Yeah. I, I forgot how low was the Tangroof, yeah. Keldeo is the only play now. Yeah, the Tangroof is super low because he got flinched. <laughs> oh. but yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, Ash Grand, you might think it's like easy to handle because it like only has this one set. Sometimes they run Z-Move, but most of the time they have specs. It doesn't really get any like crazy coverage. Um, one set that is cool is Extra Sensory. But Spike, mm -hmm. is, Spike is overall really solid. Um, like, I'm a big fan of Flying Victini. Flying Vitini's team, but and this uh, like Snow just had better matchup. I feel like he prepped well. <laughs> let me let me like see. Like, is this something the Flying team would usually bring? Usually, Flying Vitini brings like um a bit more bulky teams, but yeah, doesn't he, he bring usually like bulky often or balance? Yeah, he can he can like definitely use a lot of different styles. And World Cup, he also lose I think one time a more offensive team like this. Snow is really thinking about yeah, it. I think he I think his only play is going Keldia to be honest. I don't Coco know. has been one of my favorite mons for so long and at one point it wasn't even good and was still my favorite mon because it's kinda of mascot. But now mm -hmm. the physical wild charge shed is so good because it just destroys most fat teams. And uh, yeah the spec side is also cool because uh, you can catch people off guard. So you can water shrink here and bring this in range from sucker punch. And what I would do here, oh watch this, Padlop gets 5 hits here. If, if he was Padlop, oh he God, would get no. 5 hits and a crit, but he only gets a few. <laughs> so now he's in Sucker Punch range, so if you FV here, would yeah. you go, do you go Mawal here and do you predict the switch and click uh, Thunder, Thunder Punch? <laughs> oh yeah, that would so be... I, I assume that, that Snow is gonna keep his Keldeo, it has one more spike switch in. So I think he's gonna, oh sack, yeah. I think he's gonna sack the Tangros here. So Sucker Punch is a fine play, because even if he goes Tangros, you can still kill it after. I think the Tangro sack is the best play, right? Because uh, you don't want to risk your heat turn or your Mew on the, on like a Thunder Punch, Para or Crit or something. I think he, 
he... I don't think Flaming Victini really needs to go for Sucker Punch, because Cold doesn't even kill. I mean... I guess, but... I feel, yeah, like, yeah, I feel like I feel like Harris on the Mora is really important if if he wants a chance to win the game. So mm -hmm. like if if Snow stays in and he gets the sucker play correct, um, no, I think that, Snow is gonna sweep. So if he stays in and then would, I think he just takes the Chang with you to be honest. But even if he stacks yeah, his Kaldu, then he comes in with Heatran and doesn't Heatran get a kill anyway after? Heatran just has to connect the yeah, Magnus Storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you stack and go Heatran, yeah, Heatran gets a kill. So Heatran gets a kill then, and the only reason why Scarf Kelly is still important is the Coco. Because the Coco can become really dangerous with Specs T-Bolt. I am I'm pretty sure the trend would live one Specs T-Bolt. Wow, he's Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, he SD's up. Wait. Okay, okay. But that doesn't win him the game because um, Mew has will but Mew is faster. So he's forced to suck Bro. a punch here. It's not expecting the SD from all. I, I was sure he was gonna like go for T punch. On so the I expect sec. him to sack the um the okay. Tangros here and then come into Mew and click Will O Wisp. Yeah, cause now Heatran dies to plus two sucker punch. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but Heatran okay, has to go. Did Heatran? Yeah, Heatran was Heatran was his rock. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, even though Duck Tree or Arena Trap is banned now, like I still love Subtran. <laughs> If it runs the rocks, it most likely won't have sub, but like that's the, that head is still pretty cool. Just sack, go Mew, and drink. go for Willow this yep. Otherwise, it's a problem. Like, it depends on your team, obviously, but sometimes when you already have a rocker, sub toxic turn can be really nice. Um, it can also, like, it can help us, like, rain matchup to start out some rain turns. He goes hard, hard to Mew, Mew, which is uh, really interesting. That was risky, but. I assume that Heatran could live as plus to Sucker Punch anyways. That was probably Snow's mindset there. So the Mew just dies. Uh, I'm, no, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure about that. Maybe he has a lot of balls. Can you I don't can know. you call Heatran with plus to Mawa? I assume yeah, that he has I'm HP. Gonna I assume he has HP investment or something. Yeah, I'm gonna call versus. Okay, it would have that's 38, so it wouldn't have killed with. Uh, it would have done like um, a little bit less than 80. Mm -hmm. So he goes for off parts, um, most trends should carry off yeah, power if, for opposing yeah, if trend. If is max HP, Sucker Punch would have done 80% max. So off power, yeah. Off power is also nice mm -hmm. for toxic packs. So he's gonna um, T bolt here. Okay, Yeah, Keldio, Keldio, Keldio wins anyway. Actually, there's still a Laddie. He volts, I mm -hmm. thought he would have T bolted. Yeah, the Laddie's uh, too low though. So, um, he, he the, the Laddie has mm -hmm. to lo lock into a move and then Trend most likely eats the hit. So he needs to crit. Oh. The, he needs to crit the trend with a Draco here. And mm. Yeah, tri tri uh, why, why can I not talk? Crit Draco probably killed. So that's his win gun at this point. Um. Yeah, I think Snow played as well. But yeah, he also had, like um matchup was uh, slightly in his favor. Lopani says, don't think crit kills. I'm pretty sure crit kills. I think it, like, yeah, it, does, it does, it does, it does. Like, funny. this is not a spadef trend. Like, this. Why is Alexander jinxing snow? No, I mean, yeah, I'm still, I'm still waiting for spadef trend. I mean, I can see why people are not running spadef trend, but. Non non focus blast, Tapu Lele. Yeah, well, crit, crit would have killed, crit would have killed for sure. And now the game is over because Kelly wins. Yeah, yep. Kelly just clicks, clicks Scald and wins. Like, I'm waiting for Spadef Trend to make a comeback somewhat, but... Like, I don't expect it to be, like, super common. But eventually, I'm gonna expect to see some of those. Um, no, it's but not Scarf I also expect, like, Jirachi to be more common, because Tapu Lele is just super scary at the moment. But yeah, um, that was nice. There was a super close 1-0 Damn, 4%. <laughs> see, see, imagine, imagine he got up a spike earlier, um... And the Kaldu had taken another spike earlier, then maybe mm -hmm. Flamitini would have won, but I'm definitely not gonna say anything against Effie the God. <laughs> yeah, that, that also shows like how well like both players really like tried and preserved health on, on their Pokemon. Because like if it's not, if Snow played Kaldu more ca carelessly, he would have lost this game probably. I feel like the one turn I think one time he went into his Landris on a Giga Drain. Um, I feel like it was pretty obvious that Snow wasn't gonna go for Earthquake there. Um, I, maybe Vanvitini wanted health on his mobile more, because health on mobile means he can take a hit from Kaldion and um, scatter it out. 
But I feel like if he went into um, more well on the Giga Drain and to pressure the Tangos and he kept his Lando more healthy, that would have been nice to keep this guy strike around for later. But yeah, he still. Like, given the matchup, he still um, tried. Like, eventually he had to go for the flinch and he got it. I mean, the flinch is also what made this game, like, a little bit closer than it should have been. And yeah, the Sub Zero Slow was obviously nice. Um, <laughs> like, you just can't have a switch in for that. Like, if it's Life of Q and Black. Yeah, Gastron most likely um, was yeah, yeah, yeah. it, but the like Zemo... You said, like you said, un unless you have a Mega Caesar, defensive Mega Caesar deck, you like... I can't really think strong. of anything else. The, oh, the only other thing I can think about is that you go Toxapex on a Sub-Zero Slammer, and then you pivot into, like, Ladi on a Fusion Bolt. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't know if I even introduced Dennis the Menace in the beginning, but yeah, there's the Italian the Italian God in the call. So later, I don't know, there's, like, more games. I think Sabella was just tricking, is what you said. Mm, um, yeah, Sabella vs. Tricky is at 11.30 p.m. our time, yes. And yeah, I'm not sure if there's an ult, I'll keep an eye on Smoke Juice, but like I said, I can only record, record around 4 games because my voice is gonna come to an end then. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, stay tuned for more, and peace out.